Hey guys, make sure you stay until the end. If you make one common mistake, you can spend thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Stay with us and we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Toyota Sienna degeneration right here from year 2011 to year 2020. If you guys have one of those and if you have a problem where OBD scanner diagnostics do not connect to the, uh, to the port guys, you connect it but there is no communication, stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause that. It could be guys two to three different scenarios. We will explain about that. We will explain where you can buy cheap parts and tools. That way you do not waste your money and time. And why it's important to always test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stand till the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here in the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take things completely apart. We show you guys how to do electrical, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. If you have one of those vehicles that we're making videos on, subscribe. We will put quite a few videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. All together, guys, on our channels, we have more than 12,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars. Now, also, if you need to buy any parts, to use at a good price, quick shipping, that way, guys, you do not waste your money and time, we'll share in our videos where you can buy parts, tools, uh, fuses, relays, because some fuses guys and relays are special specific, especially for that Toyota Sienna, you have those special fuses right here. Uh, you also have that special integration relay right here. And the other relays, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping guys, uh, because sometimes they could be also really hard to find. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So if the OBD doesn't connect guys, first we will explain to you always check the OBD fuse, where it's located. We will demonstrate on this 2014 Toyota Sienna here. You guys have two different fuse boxes in that generation minivan and today we work in one. That's the fuse box on the driver's side. Go ahead, open the door, look above the pedals on the left side under the dash. You're going to find that you have one fuse box layout that looks like this one here. Go ahead, remove that cover and you get to the interior fuse box just like this one now before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's important to always test fuses and relays so it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well common mistakes people make sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system i will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery guys okay common mistake people make it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect reconnect first if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules how we know about that we burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on bmw that cost is two thousand dollars guys so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first check it out for your convenience if the OBD port does not work, the scanner diagnostics too does not connect which fuse you need to check, you need to come in that row of fuses and you count 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31. This is not used, you don't count it. Then you have 32, 33, 34. That fuse right here, 34, that's the one that you will guys need to check. Now, if the fuse is good, what else can cause that? It could be, okay, where the OBD port is relocated. You actually have a dummy port guys, okay? You think you have the real port, but the real port is somewhere else. Behind the dash on the right side, somewhere else, it's hidden. And the one on the left side, it's left to where it just gives power to the scanner, but it doesn't communicate. People do that so their vehicles cannot be stolen. Those are the most common things we see at the garage. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching, see you next time.